This video is sponsored by Squarespace. I'll talk more about Squarespace later on in the video. Hello everyone, my name is Lisa and I'm the Viet Vegan because I'm Viet and I'm vegan and today is a what I eat in a day where I made a lot of delicious food. So let's start off with some coffee. Lately I've been making a half decaf coffee where I do 10 grams of caffeinated beans and 10 grams of uncaffeinated beans. It's been a good time. And of course I'm using my Chemex pour over because I just like the routine, I like the smell, I like the, the process of making it. It feels, feels nice, it feels fancy and it just, you know, also makes delicious coffee. As you can see, I am using a Chemex filter that has like a leather strap. I didn't realize that it had leather when I bought it. So, you know, we're here unfortunately, but you know, I already, I already have it. So the damage is done. I brew my coffee. For those who are wondering what ratios I use, I use 20 grams of coffee, beans, and then 300 grams of water. Nothing too fancy. I do have a gooseneck kettle. It is from Bodum because there's like other ones that are like way fancier and way more expensive. Um, I think this one was $80 though. So still not a cheap kettle, but cheaper than like the $200 ones that are just pretty much the same. So on this morning, I was awoken, well not awoken, I was scrolling through Instagram in the morning as one does, uh, and I saw a post on Next Shark about how there's this like American college that did like an Asian food day in their cafeteria and they made scallion pancakes, but it was like buckwheat and rice traditional American pancakes with scallions in them and on top with with coriander or like cilantro on top. And I was, needless to say, I was irate. I was very mad. So I was like, you know what? Heck this noise. I'm going to make actual scallion pancakes because that is just offensive. I'm following a recipe from Serious Eats from Kenji Lopez Alt. And he goes into detail about like why the dough for this is actually really simple. And it's just like boiling water and flour and how that affects the gluten versus like using yeast raised flour and all that kind of stuff. So I used the same boiling water that I had from my coffee for the dough. And it was like very satisfying to play with, honestly. I really miss playing with dough. So you basically add boiling water to the flour and then you let that rest for about half an hour after you need it. So while that was happening, I decided to have some coffee, some breakfast. I am having my coffee with some silk soy creamer. And then a couple days ago, I made some of these like chocolate covered dates that were stuffed with peanut butter. I've been eating dates a lot lately because apparently it's good for your uterus. It makes for a soft cervix, I have been told. I don't know, I've just been craving dates. So that's, that's what that was all about. So it was a delicious time. After I had my coffee, had some chocolate and dates for breakfast, I started cutting up the scallions. Do you call them scallions or do you call them green onions? I kind of call them both or spring onions. I don't know, it really depends. Yeah, I'm using, I think five here. You want like two cups of scallions for four pancakes. It's like a half a cup of scallions per pancakes. You, you want to go ham on the scallions, you know? They are called scallion pancakes for a reason. So after the dough has rested for about half an hour, then you divide it into four equal parts. So you roll it out, use toasted sesame oil, and then you roll it and then squish it into like this like circle. And then you like flatten it again to create that lamination. And then you do it again with the scallions the second time. So you have like double the layers of lamination for an ultra flaky, delicious time. Granted, I'm not very good at this. I don't really know if I'm doing this correctly, but you know, it's fun, it's easy, and it's delicious to make. I don't think you really need to get too stressed out about it. So I'll link the, the recipe that I used down below. I definitely use too much toasted sesame oil here but you know what it's fine it's it's more flavor you know what i'm saying it's like very fun to do i'm gonna stop talking so just you know enjoy the montage of making scallion pancakes
I think just onions, right? Oopsie, it was more oil. I don't know why I didn't just look it up before I did this. Boy, she delicate. Satisfying. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's too much oil. Well, here we are. Scully. So the recipe made four pancakes and I ate two, well, like two and a half, and then Eddie ate the other ones. And it was very good. I used soy sauce, black vinegar, and toasted sesame seeds with a little bit of chili crisp for the dipping sauce, and it was delicious. It's a little bit of work, but it is very tasty and honestly quite filling. Would recommend. I was working on my ebook this day, so I got a little preoccupied, um, so I didn't really have much of a lunch, but I was taking my prenatal, my choline supplement, and my allergy pill with some orange juice, and then had a little bit of a snack plate with a bit of pear. It's not as ripe as I would like it to be, but that's okay. It was still delicious, sweet, crunchy, a fruity, fibrous time. And then I had some coconut Rivera yogurt. This is a lemon flavor with a bit of hemp seeds for that good, good protein, a little bit of omega-3s, a little bit of texture.
And then after that snack plate, I had some clementines. I bought one of those like boxes of clementines and it's the season where you have to like eat all of them really quickly because otherwise you just get overwhelmed with clementines, but it's okay because they're so delicious. And this box was super sweet and juicy. Uh, it was a good time, not too many seeds, pretty good. I actually had two of them. Let's talk about today's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is your go-to place to build a beautiful website. I used Squarespace for my wedding website back in 2019 because it was so easy to customize, put together, and I had everything I needed to coordinate an event in one place. It's also a great platform to sell your merch, showcase your small business, your CV, your portfolio, or host a blog. They have beautiful and customizable templates for every niche and are designed to be optimized for every screen. They have so many built-in marketing tools, easy to access analytics, and if you need help, they have tons of resources and amazing customer service. So get started today by going to squarespace.com slash vegan and use code vegan to get 10% off your first order. And then for Dinner, naturally I was ravenous. So I made a huge plate of pasta and salad. I ran out of uh, regular onions. So I'm only using red onions today, which is not ideal for an Alfredo sauce. Cause it's like white. And then you have like this like kind of brownie ready onion cooking th coming through. It's not the prettiest, but you know what? It was delicious and it's what I had. And I needed to have onions in there, you know for the extra flavor. So if you want the recipe for this I posted it on my blog already. Um, I'll link it down below for you. But yeah, I use the Violife vegan cheese. That is my preference for an Alfredo situation. So I melt down a little bit of butter, cook down the onions, add a bit of garlic, add in the soy creamer. You can also use soy milk if you want here. Um, I think I just use soy creamer because that's what I have and I like it better for a creamy, luscious time. Um, but I have instructions for both the soy milk and the soy creamer if you want to make either version. My timing for making the sauce was a little messed up. So it looks a little chunky here, but that's okay. Cause once my pasta is fully cooked, I'm gonna use the starchy water to sort of loosen up the pasta, make it creamier, make it, you know, looser. And that's fine. I decided to make a salad because I realized that my meal didn't really have any protein, but then I wanted like a hearty salad with some smoky tempeh bacon to cook up here. And it was just what I wanted. Honestly, it was really de delicious. So I'm cooking it with a little bit of canola oil swirling around the pan because my stove is tilted. So using uh, the power of manual labor to push around the tempeh bacon. I added some iodized salt to the water to cook the pasta because it's a good source of iodine and it's good for your thyroid. So, you know, get you some iodine. Don't be fooled by the amount of pasta here. It might not look like it's a lot of pasta, but I've actually started weighing my pasta uh, to cook it because I would say like a serving is between like 80 to 100 grams, maybe more, maybe less, depending on how hungry you are. But I have in the past had a lot of troubles with portioning out way too much pasta and then I have like leftover pasta, which is always like an awkward amount because it's never enough for like a full serving. So I generally just weigh my pasta now just to make it easier for me. Um, so I, I think this day I had 100 grams of pasta because I was pretty hungry. It was the perfect amount of pasta. It was a great time. 